we can do that. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Order. I'm opening the second meeting of the museum director search committee. I'm sorry that these aren't our usual accommodations, but due to a weird and unexpected dinosaur-related security breach in the genetics lab, we've moved all essential personnel and campus activities to our underground bunker campus, because we have one of those. Now that that is settled, let us begin with addressing the last meeting's events. Things got heated, I will admit but you all brought very good points of view to the issue at hand. And I would like to focus on reconciling those differing views. We can all agree that the museum is a great asset to the university. So we should be able to agree on how it should run. Now, Mr. McGuffin, we, you made a great point on how we must first agree on how the manager of the museum must have some direction. Would anybody like to start off there. Well, yes, I would start. I still feel very strongly about the academic nature of the museum. It was built from the ground up through hard work and scholarly pursuits, and it would be an insult to these beginnings if it were to be turned into some sort of sideshow attraction for the gawking masses. We have to maintain an environment of learning and scholarly pursuits if we wish to be respected at all. Gawking masses? Our last director was right about you. Elitist snobs. If you agree with that garbage. He was also right about how we have to open the museum to more people if we want to stay relevant for Christ's sake. Whether we like it or not, education is a business. <clears throat> And we need to bring money in if we want to survive. My department runs a tight ship, and I don't want to see any part of this university fall by the wayside. I refuse to allow you or anybody else to cheapen that in any way. Well, um, if I may. I still think that is very extreme. Why can't it just be run the way that it was before? I think it would be best to just go back to the way that it was. Me? Cheapen? You're the one who is cheapening the university by not allowing the honest revenue into our coffers. What do you think pays for all your fancy calculators and oddly similar looking assistants? Sneedle? Now you listen here, I would never... Order. I will not have this meeting go the way I'm the last one went. I'm going to have get another drink. Shh. Come on, come on. Could you all sound more closed-minded right now? I might as well be at a Trump rally, albeit with less punching. Y'all all bring great points. But you all have to bring them together if we are to succeed. my peace, if I may. Now, you're all correct in your own ways, okay? But come promise we rule this day, I believe. I propose we take the best attributes from each part of the department. It's needle. We can make the museum primarily academic again being run by your own director, working very closely with our art, history, faculty, and our PhD students. They can start putting together their own exhibits again and continue to produce the academic papers that put our little museum on the map. Sense, whoever you are, we will be more open to the public, inviting high school and college age boys and girls from schools with programs serious about art history and bring it in a more revenue while remaining respectful and maintaining a learning environment. This will also allow the museum to become even more of a recruitment tool for the university. Bringing in more tuition money. Fuller. 
This is the future. We have to adapt. But this is this way I can think we can take the spirit of the old museum with us as we move forward. Okay, you are done. Wow. Wow. Okay then. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Damn right. <laughs> Great then. We'll need we'll meet next week to bring in the applicants for the museum director position and explain these goals to them. Now that that is over, we shall head to the underground bunker campus secret faculty spa. I'll lock the door behind us. Hopefully, those dinosaurs will learn that we've only we're only trying to teach them yoga, and we won't be back in this room for a few weeks. Who doesn't love yoga? With tequila, yes. Well, you know, dinosaurs, right? <laughs> <laughs>